Fellow Toastmasters, why should we care about earning educational awards? When I joined the Toastmaster Club, the members were talking about they wanted to be a DTM. They wanted to earn that distinguished Toastmaster. I thought, what in the world is a DTM? Some of them referred me to the back of my manual. I quickly discovered that it took 45 speeches and numerous leadership projects. I thought, there's no way I can finish 10 speeches, let alone ever get a DTM. My club members and my mentor challenged me, you can do this. We started with the table topic, ooh. Then we did our normal meeting club roles, where you're speaking. Every opportunity is something to speak and to do better. Then came that dreadful day, the icebreaker. Do you remember your icebreaker? I still remember mine. I talked about having my cherished cat for 18 years and when, when we had to put her to sleep. I thought, I will never have another pet as long as I live. I married my wife and she's a dog person. So yeah, we now have two dogs. But it's the joy of having new pets in our house. I then spoke about Mount St. Helens blowing up, being 40 miles to the west that May 18th, 1980 day, and thinking, my God, it's like a nuclear explosion. I talked about wakeboarding. I talked about Oklahoma and Nebraska football. Go Sooners! And then for my 10th speech, I talked about one of my heroes, my grandma. I visited her the week before she passed away in Washington. It was not an easy visit. Then I went to the service the following week. It was something that she has taught me that still inspires me to this day. And yes, she's still one of my heroes. So my challenge is, when we start our first speech until we do the 10th, what I want you to know is what my mentor knew that day. It's impossible if you work the projects to not become a better speaker. Ask any of your club members that have a CC or an advanced award, and they will tell you they're a much better speaker from when they started. We're nothing magical, it's, it's the Toastmaster program. But it doesn't stop there. If you've earned your CC, then we have 15 advanced manuals. And I challenge you, pick two of those advanced manuals and you continue to use the competent communicator skills that you've learned as the foundation for all your future speeches. And you'll be surprised at how quick you can finish two advanced manuals. We also have leadership track in Toastmasters. Yes, we all wanted to be better speakers, but the communication track is where we practice. The leadership track is where we apply it. And I know if I wouldn't have been a club president, I wouldn't be standing here today because that's the role that helped me more than anything else in Toastmasters, except for that icebreaker. When you finish your competent leader, which you should be able to do in the course of a year within your club, I challenge you to be an advanced leader. That's where you start stepping out of your club. You start being an area governor and you're giving back some of what you've learned. But you're also working on being a better speaker and a better leader. I asked you earlier, why should we care about educational awards? I know, like I was then, some of you today think, I don't need to earn that. What's the importance of that? It is the measurement of what you've accomplished. And we know that if you finish your awards, you will be a better speaker. And isn't that why you joined? Commit with me this year to earn an advanced award, earn a competent communicator, earn a leadership award. I promise you, if you will do this, if you will accept this challenge, you will become a better speaker. And together, we can step it up.